All right, speaking of health news, it's something we here on the morning show do a lot, and I'm sure a lot of you at home do as well. You hit the snooze button, but it turns out it could be bad for your health. Dr. Kevin Campbell here to explain. Doc, good to see you. Good to see you, Phil. All right, so a, a couple of studies were done on this recently. What, what was found? So what we know is that if you hit the snooze button, we think you're chronically sleep deprived. Mm. And if you're chronically sleep deprived, you can have a lot of adverse effects. There's also been data that shows that uh, in a study from Harvard looking at 70,000 women, that they were more likely to have heart disease and heart attacks if they hit the snooze button wow. and continue to have poor sleep habits. Also, another study out of San Diego showed that if you um, get less than seven hours sleep a night chronically, yeah. your lifespan is shortened. Less than seven hours? <clears throat> That's exactly right. That's eye-opening because a lot yes. of us here in this morning show definitely don't get seven hours. A lot of people at home probably don't as well. Sleep de deprivation, what can that do to your health? What we know from a large number of trials is that when you're sleep deprived, it can affect your immune system. It can improve or increase your chances of developing heart disease, obesity, diabetes. What happens is when you're sleep deprived, our body releases stress hormones and inflammatory uh, cells. And when you're in a constant state of inflammation, it promotes the development mm. of heart disease and diabetes and insulin resistance and all of these things. It's really, really bad for you in the end. In the end. You, you talked about heart disease. How does this lead to said heart disease? What happens is when we're sleep deprived, we release stress hormones. Stress hormones can actually cause the development of plaques in the heart, they can stress the heart, they can increase the demand on the heart, and can actually precipitate a heart attack. It's really important to get at least seven and a half hours of sleep. And I have to admit, I'm lucky to get six right. on a good night. It's so. difficult to do, especially when you have a lot of things going on, right. work, kids, family, et cetera. What can we do to make ourselves a little bit healthier and so avoid if you this? if you look at the the quotes and the studies that have been done here on sleep, one of the most important things is rather than hit the snooze button, Go to bed 10 to 15 minutes earlier. Set the alarm 10 to 15 minutes later and use that time for sleep. We cycle through sleep through four stages with REM sleep mm -hmm. being an active dream sleep. And you go through those cycles from one through REM four to five times a night in order to feel rested. If you're able to get to bed earlier, avoid the snooze button and jerking yourself awake, you're gonna get better, more high quality sleep and you won't be crabby in the morning when you wake up. Which is always a good thing. It is, Ed, absolutely. Good stuff as always, Doc. <laughs> good to see you, Very sir. good to see you as well. If you have a question for Dr. Kevin Campbell, really easy, log on to our website, WNCN.com, search links we mentioned. From there, you can find his website or his Facebook page and you can even ask him questions on Twitter.